To secure the digital mixer valve, first mark the fixing holes in the required positions. Then drill the holes and secure the unit with the fixing screws provided. It's recommended at this stage that the hot and cold supply pipe work is flushed through to remove any potential debris. Then, using the push fit isolators, connect the hot and cold water supplies and the outlet connectors to the digital mixer valve. To connect the coupler cable, first remove the anti-tamper plate and the rubber grommet from the digital mixing valve. Fit the rubber grommet over the cable, then connect the coupler cable to the valve, inserting the rubber grommet into the socket to provide a watertight connection. Reinstall the anti-tamper plate to secure the grommet and coupler cable in place. The electrical connection should be a 3 amp switched fuse spur. Lay out the first fix to suit the installation requirements, concealing the pipework in the wall at a depth where it cannot be damaged by any later drilling. The bottom bracket of the shower slide rail incorporates the right angled connector to which the shower hose will be attached. Ensure at this stage that there is adequate height between the ceiling and the incoming supply for the slide rail to be located. It's recommended that the cable for the user interface is fed within a suitable conduit. After completing the finished wall surface, use a pipe slice to trim the pipework back to between 31 and 34 millimeters from the wall. To install the right angled connector, mark the wall using the back plate as a template and drill and secure the back plate using the screws provided, taking care so as not to damage any concealed pipework whilst doing so. Assemble the right angled hose connector and twist and lock into place. To install the shower fittings, first measure 621mm from the top screw of the right angle connector and mark a fixing hole for the top supports. Drill the wall and secure the top slide rail support using the screws and wall plugs provided taking care so as not to damage any concealed pipework whilst doing so. Fit the chrome cover over the elbow assembly and tighten the screw anti-clockwise to secure into place. Next, assemble all of the components onto the slide bar and fit the assembly into position. Once happy with the configuration, remove the slide bar assembly and tighten the screw on the reverse of the top support to secure the slide rail into position. Then refit the slide bar assembly and secure into place with the Allen screw provided. Then, fit the cap to the top of the slide bar. Thoroughly flush the pipework to remove any debris. Install the handset and hose, making sure to use the rubber washers provided to make the watertight seal each end. Now, use a pipe slice to trim back the supply pipework 18mm from the finished wall surface. Using the back plate as a template, mark and drill the wall using the screws and wall plugs provided to secure the back plate into place. Take care so as not to damage any concealed pipework whilst doing so. To fit the shower arm, Put the 15mm olive and compression nipple over the outlet pipe and tighten the compression nipple to form a watertight seal. Fit the concealing shroud, compression nut and olive onto the shower arm and slot the arm assembly into the compression nipple ensuring that the deluge connection is facing straight down. Then tighten the 22mm compression nut taking care to support the compression nipple with an additional spanner. Then, hand tighten the concealing shroud onto the back plate. Before fitting the deluge head, flush the pipework through to remove any possible debris and fit the necessary flow regulator and filter as recommended in the instructions. Then screw on the deluge head using a wrench to fully tighten. Having completed the finished wall surface, Use the template provided with a spirit level to mark and drill the user interface fixing points. 
drill a 30mm hole to house the user interface connections. Take care so as not to damage the user interface cable concealed in the wall. Next, fix the back plate to the wall with the wall plugs and screws provided. Having located the user interface cable from the conduit in the wall, connect the cable on the back of the user interface to the cable from the valve, concealing the supply cable in the cavity of the wall. Push the interface into the back plate, top first, making sure to press the button on the bottom to click the user interface into place. Having done so, the final connection can be made at the mixing valve by connecting the user interface cable to the coupler cable. Making sure that it's on a flat even surface, mark the centre position where you want to install the on off button with an obvious vertical line. Taking care so as not to damage the user interface cable within the wall cavity, drill a 30mm hole through the finished wall surface. Then retrieve the digital valve cable from the wall cavity. Next, using the cleaning wipe supplied, clean the surface around the mounting hole leaving the marked vertical line. Remove the adhesive back from the button, then connect the cable to the on-off button pushing the rubber grommet into place to prevent potential water ingress. Visually align the on symbol to the line on the wall using the vertical line applied earlier. Having done so, the final connection can be made at the mixing valve by connecting the user interface cable to the coupler cable. In the event that the deluge and variable handset supplies happen to be crossed as part of the installation, this can easily be rectified by use of the Myra Mode app. Now your Myra Mode dual digital shower is ready to use.